Yellowstone National Park has one of the highest concentrations of continental geothermal activity on Earth and includes an extraordinary collection of geysers, acid mud pots, steam fumaroles, and silica deposits. Yellowstone Lake covers 130 million square meters of parkland and it's no surprise that the lake bed is home to a variety of hot springs activities. Yellowstone National Park has one of the highest concentrations of continental geothermal activity on Earth and includes an extraordinary collection of geysers, acid mud pots, steam fumaroles, and silica deposits. Recently, however, it has been the case that the diversity of hot spring activity beneath Yellowstone Lake has begun to be appreciated. This is not surprising, considering the impressive size of Yellowstone Lake, at approximately 130 square miles, it is the largest lake in North America at over 7,000 feet, 2,134 meters. This work was thanks in large part to the use of remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, to probe the lake bed. Geothermal activity in Yellowstone Lake was reported by the Hayden Expedition as early as 1878 and known to Native Americans for thousands of years. Perhaps the most famous feature is the fishing cone, a silica cone along the West Thumb Beach that releases large amounts of warm salt water. A much different composition than the water of Yellowstone Lake. However, geothermal activity in deeper parts of the lake has only been studied for the past 20 years, since scientists from the USGS and the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee conducted the first ROV-based study of the lake bottom. A large multidisciplinary project called Hydrothermal Dynamics of Yellowstone Lake, HD Lake, recently completed a three-year study of hydrothermal vents in the lake. A team from the University of Minnesota focused on measuring the temperature of hot springs and the chemical content of fluids at the bottom of the lake, while also studying rock and sediment samples. To do this, specially designed chemical samplers and sensors are deployed, such as those used to probe black smoker fluid on the sea floor at deep sea vents. The hottest vents measured during the HD Lake study were found in the deep hole area east of Stevenson Island, the deepest area of Yellowstone Lake at an elevation of 410 feet, 125 meters. The hottest vent measured was 345 degrees Fahrenheit 174 degrees Celsius. It is much hotter than any surface hot spring in Yellowstone, because the weight of the lake water above it acts like a pressure cooker lid and allows temperatures higher than the boiling point to be reached. Indeed, this is the hottest hydrothermal vent measured in any lake in the world. Hot water and gas bubbles emerge from small tilde 10 cm, 3 in holes in the bottom of the lake, which is very different from silica mounds like the fishing cone. The water from these vents contains large amounts of gases such as hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, indicating that the vents are steam-driven. Much like the steam-heated surface areas at places like Yellowstone's mud volcano, the lake bed around the deep hole vent is made almost entirely of a type of clay called kaolinite. Additional details are provided in a recent publication. Do seasonal changes in lake level affect the temperature and chemistry of steam-heated deep hole vents? And does the vent fluid respond to seismic events in and around the lake? To answer these and other related questions, researchers from the University of Minnesota developed underwater sensors capable of recording the temperature and chemical characteristics of hot springs and used them for one year. The sensor and data logger were restored in August 2018, with unexpected results. High-powered PVC logger data for a sensor partially submerged, tilde 2 inches or 5 cm in lake sediment far from active vents showed evidence of melting, indicating that the high temperatures in the deep hole were more widespread. From previous estimates, this underscores the challenge of long-term monitoring of hot and corrosive ventilation fluids. Considering that the softening temperature of PVC is about 212 degrees Fahrenheit 100 degrees Celsius, it is remarkable that such a high temperature would exist in sediment submerged in 39 degrees Fahrenheit 4 degrees Celsius lake water. However, the data logger records are complete and have provided important chemical and physical data that are currently being studied. In addition to recovering data loggers from Deep Hole, work in August 2018 also involved sampling hydrothermal vents in the West Thumb area at a depth of 175 feet, 53 meters. There, the hottest water temperature is 286 degrees Fahrenheit 141 degrees Celsius, which is still much hotter than hot springs on the surface. Rather than being powered by steam like the vents in Deep Hole, the water in the West Thumb vents is more like the water that stores silica in many of Yellowstone's onshore geothermal areas.
It is now clear that the amazing array of geothermal features that attract millions of visitors to Yellowstone National Park each year also extends beneath Yellowstone Lake, forming the most diverse array of lakebed geothermal features known anywhere. More exciting discoveries and details are sure to come from the HD Lake project, thanks to support from the National Science Foundation through award EAR 1516361 entitled, Collaborative Research, the response of continental hydrothermal systems to tectonic, magmatic, and climatic forcing, Geological Survey USA. The Yellowstone Fisheries and Resources Center Group at Yellowstone National Park, the Global Foundation for Ocean Exploration, and Yellowstone Forever. All work in Yellowstone National Park was completed under Yellowstone Research Permit YEL, 2017, SCI, 7018.